Last week, my client spent hours digging through emails to find crucial notes from a meeting. Sound familiar? Did you know that according to a McKinsey report, teams waste up to 20% of their work week searching for information? Let's look at how sharing a OneNote notebook could solve these challenges. Some of the benefits of sharing a OneNote notebook include real-time collaboration with team members. A shared notebook also gives you a place for centralized information for teams and projects. And by sharing content in one place, this can reduce lots of emails going back and forth and version confusion. The first step in sharing a notebook is to make sure it's stored in an accessible location. So it needs to be in the cloud like in OneDrive or SharePoint. I'm working with the OneNote desktop application. So this OneNote notebook is currently stored on my local computer. How do I make it available for sharing? With the notebook open, we'll go first to File, and here in the Info area, I can see my current available notebooks. This notebook for Chocolate Creations is the one that I want to share. In the process of sharing, I would be prompted to move it. I can also do that, though, by going to Settings, and here is Share or Move. I'll select the location, my OneDrive, and now my notebook is syncing to that new location. From here, OneNote is giving me my share options. But I'll close this so that you can see some other ways to launch share. So once a notebook is in the cloud, the next step is to specify who can have access and to begin the sharing process. There's multiple ways to go about that. An easy option is here in the upper right-hand corner with the share button, and I'll pick share entire notebook. So this is the dialog box we saw before. From here, I'll put in the names or email addresses of people that I'd like to give access to this notebook. The first is Adele and Nestor. I could also type in an email address for someone that might be external to my organization. To the right with this pencil icon, this is where we determine if they can edit the notebook. And I want to give them those full privileges. And then I can add a personal message, for instance. And once I do this, I'll choose send. Adele and Nestor now will get an email that is indicated that I have shared this notebook and it will provide a link for them to be able to access it. Another way to share is by sharing a link to the notebook. So I could use that same share option. We also find that under file and share. And here is the option to create a link that I could drop into an email, whether it's an internal or external email. Let's look at the settings that are available here. First, you can control how this link will behave. Is it anyone who has the link will be able to access the notebook? Or is it people that are specifically in the organization, in this case, Contoso? Maybe only people with existing access, which have also shared it. Or it could be someone else that I choose. Additionally, here are your options, once again, for can they edit it or only view. And if you want, you could set an expiration date. Let's say you're currently working on a project or a proposal. You want people's input, but at some point, you want to then close that off. That would be another possibility. Once you have customized the options that you want for the link, you can apply and then copy the link and drop that into either an email or even to Teams chat or channel. It's good to know that although sharing a notebook gives everyone access to the entire notebook in your OneDrive, it doesn't give them access to other files or content in the same location. So you can feel at least comfortable about that part. One of the other concerns about sharing in OneNote notebook is about accidentally sharing sensitive information. If you have a section in the notebook that you don't want to share with others, you can either move it to a different notebook or apply password protection. To learn more about adding password protection to a OneNote section, click the link above or look for the video link in the description below. Another big concern about sharing a notebook is losing control over the content. Fortunately, OneNote makes it easy to review recent edits made to a notebook. We'll find this information under the History tab. And next, I'll go to Recent Edits. I'd like to see if Adele or Nestor has made any changes since I shared this notebook earlier today. In this search, OneNote is showing me anything that might have been changed today, including pages that I've added. Notice our options here. I can search this notebook. I can search all notebooks. And I can also sort or organize it by the author. So let's go ahead and do that. We can see any changes I made. My alias is Megan, but let's look here for Adele. 
So let's dig in a little bit and see what Adele has changed. Here we can see that she's added information on chocolate sales. Now this is available, this tagging, because in history, I have not chosen to hide authors. Sometimes you may want to do that if you have a lot of people working on it, so it simply makes it a cleaner interface. And let's see what happens here to that meeting that we had on Project Tailspin. Once again, Adele has made some changes, and so it's easy for us to be able to review what kind of modifications have taken place. Now that you've seen how easy it is to share a OneNote notebook, how will you use this option to improve your team collaboration? Are you ready to become more productive with Microsoft OneNote? For other OneNote resources or to join my free tips newsletter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash OneNote. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.